What's up guys, it's your buddy Matrix here. Now today I won't be able to do a television clip just because I'm bored of it and I want to do something new after a few months. This time I'm here to review the five new languages of Google Translate. Back in 2016 was the last time we saw new languages in Google Translate. There, these five languages are Kinyarwanda, Odia, or Oria, Tatar, Turkmen, and Uyghur. Now, I don't know really how to pronounce it, so if I pronounce it wrong, please tell me in the comments below. So yeah, with that out of the way, let's go find these new languages. And here is the first language we found, Kinyarwanda, spoken in Rwanda as the second part of the name intends. This was a language we didn't even expect would come to Google Translate. And now we've got the Odia or Oriya language. Because it's spoken in India, it's quite obvious that this would come to Google Translate. I mean, no doubt about that. And now, it's time for the language you all wanted, Tatar. Now, there's something cool about Tatar is that it was actually originally in Yandex Translate, which is Russian, so I do see that this language would obviously be there. You've also got Turkmen here, which was in Gloss Bay if you ever wanted that. And finally, the Uyghur language, the language no one asked for, but it looks pretty cool, so I like that. And now it's time to review the languages, starting with Kinyarwanda. Let's see how Google Translate does. Alright. Ooh, it's quite accurate. Alright, let's try this. Because obviously this is testing. Ooh, it's pretty good. Now for the final one, this mailbox is mine. The first quote from the Stingy's Mind song. Stingy from Lazy Town. Alright, it says my instead of this. But, I guess since it's already yours, it's kind of accurate. Alright, let's try out the audio language from India. Assuming it will be very accurate. See, it says hello, right? There was, there was like one case where I said hello in the language and it didn't say hello. So, I'm just going to put that one first. It, it forgot the full stop there, but that's okay. At least it said it right. So... Oh, it actually got every single word right. Again, it's forgetting the full stops, but give you the marks, because you did good. Alright, now let's try the Tatar language. I'm assuming it's going to have the same translations as Yandex Translate, just because it was there originally. Let's see. Okay, got that one right. Obviously it would, because we all wanted that. Okay. It got it right this time, and it included the full stop, which was a problem for the audio language. Not too big. Okay, so I think this one was the most accurate so far. Alright, now let's try Turkmen. This might be accurate, but we don't know yet. Okay, it says greetings, but same thing, so marks for that. So, let's see. Oh, it says Sinag or something. I don't even know that would mean test because I don't speak German. Okay, so it's getting everything right. It's like Tatar. Except for hello. It said greetings, but just like in Kinyarwanda, it's the same thing. When Kinyarwanda said that my mailbox is mine, because the mailbox is yours. It's yours, not anyone else's. And... So, greetings just means hello. Just a nicer version. Enough with the talking, now let's get to the final language. Alright, we're finally at Uyghur, the final language. Alright, it seems pretty long, but it means hello. Now let's try this. Okay, it's doing it just like Tatar, getting everything right. 
Let's see this one. Ooh, so we might have a draw here, guys. Tatar and Yuiker are the winners in my book. They got every single character correct when translating from English to the language, from the language to English. So, I believe those two are the winners. But which one do you think would have won between those two? If you want to vote, then do in the comments. You can also use the comments to comment anything you want or something. I don't even know. But anyways, that's the end of the video. So make sure you like the video or dislike the video. Whichever one you thought this video was good or bad. And also, don't forget to subscribe because I'll be uploading more insane content just like this. And if you do subscribe, then make sure to hit the bell so you don't actually miss out on this insane content. But that's all from me, guys. And I say goodbye!